if f of x equals x minus 3 over x plus 5 and g of x equals x over 2x plus 3, find f plus g of x. We're just going to be adding these two functions. So we'll need x minus 3 over x plus 5 plus x over 2x plus 3. The least common denominator will be x plus 5 times 2x plus 3. This first fraction needs to multiply by 2x plus 3 in the numerator and denominator. The second fraction needs to multiply by x plus 5, again in the numerator and denominator. The denominator is 2x plus 3, that quantity times the quantity x plus 5. The numerator is the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. That's 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. The second fraction, the denominator, 2x plus 3 and x plus 5. And the numerator is x times the quantity x plus 5, x squared plus 5x. And now we can add the like terms across this numerator. 2x squared plus x squared is 3x squared. Negative 3x and positive 5x is positive 2x, then minus 9. And the denominator is the quantity 2x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 5, and that's the sum of f of x and g of x. We have the sum of f plus g of x. Now we need to find the domain of f plus g of x. Remember the domain will be all real values except what makes that denominator equal to 0. So if we set the denominator equal to 0 and solve, we'll be able to find whatever is excluded from the domain of the function. 2x plus 3, that quantity times the quantity x plus 5 equals 0. We'll set up the two equations, 2x plus 3 equals 0 and x plus 5 equals 0. We'll have 2x equals negative 3, x is negative 3 halves, and here x is equal to negative 5. And so the domain of this function will be the set of all real numbers x, such that x is not equal to negative 5 and x is not equal to negative 3 halves.